Ah! Hi everybody, I'm the Krill and welcome back to Blank Dream. As you know, I love this game. Uh, so I've got a gold key now, but obviously I don't know if something is about to just jump out at me randomly from somewhere, anywhere. Okay, no, we appear to be all good on that front. So, if I save it here. So we have a gold door here. Realm of Death. No life can live before a distorted wheel. Uh, I'm thinking I want something that, that sounds a little bit nicer than the Realm of Death. Realm of Blood. Bathe in it if you wish and go mad. Okay, so Death or Blood. I'm gonna go with Blood for now. Okay. save it here. We shall guide you to the mirror quickly and without interruption. That'd be nice. Welcome, master, to the realm of blood. So that is all. I'm not, I'm not gonna walk underneath those. After what happened last time I walked directly underneath the chandelier. For now, give no thought to the return trip. If you are tired, enjoy a soothing meal. An angel-like statue polished to a shine. Non-alcoholic wine. A great pile of fresh fruit. The tea on the table is just the right temperature. Well, you know, I'd love to sit down and eat, but I fucking can't. If you see anything you like, relax at your leisure. A beautiful painting. A pretty white dress. A piano. A shiro can't play. A table with a vase. A large standing clock. Its age is evident. Oh, oh, fuck you. Packed tight with books on science. Books on psychology and the mind. Many books as thick as dictionaries. A pile of present boxes, exciting just to look at. Yeah. An angel like statue polished to a shine. Oh. Okay, so I can't go back. So there were two doors, and I picked this one. If you wish, you may take a comforting rest. The mirror is to your left. Teddy bear stares with round eyes. Cute. A large bed with a canopy, soft enough for your body to sink into. Oh. It appears that it wasn't lying. The mirror shows Mashiro's reflection, but she has a bad feeling unlike any before, looking anyway. Two years ago, a middle school. Hey, Yasui, you're late. Because I had gym. I don't care, just give us our homework. You did do it, didn't you? Can't get in the mood for three math worksheets. Thanks, little Asui. 1,000 yen fee for every wrong answer. You're rich, so that's enough responsibility, eh? What am I doing? I'm living like a slave to the every whim of these pieces of garbage. You listening, Usui? Always spacing out. That's blank stares, Usui, alright? Does the class even know you're a student? If you don't stand out some, nobody's gonna notice you. I've been dealing with them for about three months. They're just letting out stress for the coming exams. They're not going to a decent high school anyway. That's the sort of thing I think about as I let it wash over me and endure. With the recent death of my grandpa, a famous artist, the Asui family has been in turmoil over his inheritance. 
so I can't talk to my parents or stop attending school. At home, I care for my family. At school, for these losers. I feel myself withering, lonely and doubting. What am I living for? I'm the one who's building up loads of stress, not you jerks. Say, did you know? I do. Contrary to appearances, she really likes frilly outfits. Huh? For real? Like, totally. Like, gothic Lolita and stuff? She's gone out like that on her days off. Now that's something. So cute, Usui. You wanna be a princess? Don't talk about people's tastes like that, you... Bastards. Well, it's about time, Usui. Show us your cute little clothes, Usui. Let us snap some pics. Don't rob me of the one thing free of stress. Don't get into my private life outside of school. You listening? Bring out your favourite clothes Sunday or something. We'll have a fashion show. What do you know, Usui? Always such a dim, awkward girl, but today you'll get to be a pretty frilly... Frilly... Fair, frilly princess. Oh, so adorable for her age. Wah! <laughs> Don't make me any more angry. Hmm? You say something? What, Usui? You got a complaint? Hey, shut your traps, guys. Usui wants to say something. Hmm? It off. Not good. I, I can tell my emotions are getting uncontrollable. If I stay silent, they'll get bored eventually. This isn't wise. So please, don't reach for my pocket. Don't grab what's in there. If I grab that, it'll turn the world upside down. What's that? Say it loud and clear, cutie pie, Usui. Knock it off, you bastards! Yes, in that moment, Mashiro Usui took out a small hidden knife and swung it at the delinquent. It left a trail of red on the girl's hand six centimetres long. Immediately after this incident, a teacher heard a scream and came running. It wasn't a severe wound, so it didn't affect my school record such that I couldn't graduate, and the delinquents no longer approached me. In fact, no one in my class did. And when my parents heard of the incident, my mother especially lost it and berated me. She began using harsh discipline and control over me in the name of correction. That was this memory. Now, to just break the mirror. No, not yet. Still more to do here. This may just be a vision of the past, but this is a reenactment, an illusion the mirror is creating. It's merely based on my memory. So what reason is there to hold back? Before, the blood and screaming brought me back to my senses, but now it's different. Now that my spirit has grown stronger from going around this world, I can kill them. Leave no survivors. Holy shit! I'm convinced I can do it. I'll let my urges and hatred find an outlet. If only here in the mirror, I'll get my retribution. If only here, I'll make this horrid bastard suffer. Oh my god. Please, just you don't kill me. Oh my god! Forgive me, I'm going to die. It hurts. Ha <laughs> she's gone mad. What? Was it this simple? Was it this pleasant? And was it so short-lived? It feels like nothing matters anymore. I am you, and you are me. Oh, poor me. You two looked into the mirror and lost it. Looking into your memories can mean prying open the lid on past trauma. To think, a new ruler arrived, and yet it just came to this. So long, I can't hope for anything good to follow. Ending 5! She too was lost to madness. Whoa, okay. So apparently, we just saw an ending of the game. Alright. That's... Pretty cool, actually, that they've added, like, these alternate endings in. I kinda like that. 
Anyway, now just get back up to where we were. Stab the knife into your throat. Okay, cool. Ashira came to, again standing before the mirror. Though she still felt a vigorous feeling in her hands, there was no trace of a knife wound. Yes. In the third term of my second year of middle school, I turned a knife on those delinquents. As a result, all my efforts to calm my parents as they dealt with the inheritance went to waste. I set off a bomb just waiting to burst. My mother became hysterical and strict after that. She desperately tried to train me right, and so I lost a place to belong. Just as Mishiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. Okay. Uh that way? Yeah, here we go, back in the entrance way. Cool. All right. Now I realize that this could be a short episode if I just left it there. So I think I'm going to enter the realm of death. A steel helmet. Ah! Oh, I can tell this is going to be good. The room is dark and the weak lantern doesn't seem to be able to light the room adequately. Alright. There's an unnatural gap in the books on the middle shelf. The stone statue quietly looms. Respect your predecessors. Oh. I started to notice blood on the floor there. Oh shit, are you kidding me? Mother's most beloved day. Shit, nothing happened. Ten twenty. <laughs> ah, no. <sighs> Dead end. I can tell this is going to be possibly one of the worst rooms in this entire game. Six twelve. It's not her birthday. Four twenty eight. No. Ah, oh, Christ. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this really is a, a maths puzzle, really, in a way, when you think about it. Twelve eight. I'm dead. Yep. Four twenty eight. Six twelve. I've not tried that one. Hey, there we go. The statue of the Holy Mother faded into darkness, as if only an illusion. There's nothing on the dilapidated shelves, full of junk covered in dust. Among the dust junk, dust covered junk is a book of matches. Take them. Be sure to take the matchbook. Careful not to collapse the pile of junk. Be sure I got matches. There's only darkness in the unlit fireplace. Can I use these? No. No, I cannot. Ah! <sighs> oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, shit. Back, back, back. Better. Definitely, definitely save the game there. Put the book of mansion? No. Okay. So, I think for now, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this. There's still more to come. I can guarantee you that much. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please hit that subscribe button, um, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody!